Hello everyone, today I will explain relationships in database. It's very important to know relationship between tables and database so you can make your database from scratch. There are several types of relationships that can exist between tables in a database. One to one, one to many, many to many. One to one relationship. A one to one relationship exists when each record in one table corresponds to only one record in another table and vice versa. For example, consider a database for a library. You have two tables, books and book details. Each book in the books table corresponds to exactly one record in the book details table, and each record in the book details table corresponds to exactly one book in the books table. For example, book with number 12 is written by author 1. Book with number 13 is written by author 2. Book with number 14 is also written by author 1. One to many relationship. A one-to-many relationship exists when one record in one table corresponds to many records in another table. For example, consider the same library database as above. You have two tables, books and checkouts. The books table might contain columns for the book's number and title. The checkouts table might contain columns for the checkout date, due date, and book number. The book number in the checkouts table would be a foreign key that references the number in the books table, establishing the one-to-many relationship. One book in the books table can correspond to many checkouts in the checkouts table, since one book can be checked out multiple times by different patrons. Here we have book with number 12 which is checked twice, on January 1st and February 1st. Many-to-many -many relationship. A many-to-many -many relationship exists when many records in one table correspond to many records in another table. The books table might contain columns for the book's number and title. The users table might contain columns for the user's name and user ID. To represent the many-to-many -many relationship between books and users, you would create a third table, often called a junction table, that maps the relationship between the two original tables. For example, look at those tables. Each book can be checked out by multiple users, and each user can check out multiple books. So this represents a many-to-many -many relationship. The junction table maps the relationships between the books and users. Here we have the book with number 12 was taken by user 1 and user 2 and the book with number 14 was taken by user 3 and user 2. Hope you like the video. Support me with subscribe. Thank you.